What's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's Nick Fury from the movie Captain America Winter Soldier and you can order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com please click the link down below uh, and you're probably wondering why am I reviewing a I don't know two or three year old figure well if you watch my other video big bad toy store is conducting a sale from you know the older figures that they cannot move and uh, I've always wanted the Nick Fury. So the deal was you're still going to buy him full price, but you're going to get a $75 store credit, which is great, you know, because I always buy a big bad toy store anyway. It's not like this is the last figure I'm going to get. So, you know, I'm just going to use that $75 for another figure, one of my pre-orders. And honestly, it's not even going to last that long. I'm going to apply it to another one of their sale. Nick Fury is one of those figures where I don't need him. You know, I always wanted to have one. But at the right price, you know, I always thought he was like a bit overpriced for, you know, it, actually, it's pretty cheap compared to the Hot Toys releases nowadays. But I always find him boring. You know, he comes with decent accessories, as you can see here. You know, he comes with this cell phone from that scene where he's talking to Cap and he says ears everywhere. So they can't really talk that much. Uh, he comes with a, with a thumb drive, which uh, is pretty cool. It, it does have the uh, sculpture of the shield. I don't know what kind of phone is this. It looks like an Android phone. Uh, he has a gun, a sling. You know, he comes with vast array of accessories. So it's not like you're getting gift. Uh, you can see here this, this thumb drive with that logo of the shield. It, it looks phenomenal, you know, but he just looks boring to me initially. And um, like I said, even the Avengers version, which it does come with, you know, the Tesseract, the, the briefcase, the uh, RPG, it's still, you know, like a, I put him in the category of um, of Quicksilver slash Scarlet, which actually made a, a, a major role in the, the latter movies outside of Age of Ultron. Uh, even on Age of Ultron, she, she, she had a good role out there, but they're not needed in my opinion. You know, if you have the core group of the Avengers, which is the first seven, you know, from the original movie, I always thought that was fine with me. You know, I didn't want to, you know, no one's really going to be impressed because I got quick silver in there. But uh, for the right price, man, I'll, I'll buy all of them, you know. So even, you know, like if, if you look at the uh, if you click on the link down below and then just go to the uh, Big Bad Toy Store website, you'll see a bunch of uh, figures from uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, which, you know, are you know, maybe a lot of people didn't like the movie. I don't know. For whatever reason, they're pretty much giving them away so i did buy a few figures from there i'm not even done yet so i'm, I'm gonna buy more because I, yeah i didn't you know i liked the movie you know i liked it. i didn't love the movie i actually but you know i there's some figures in there that i actually do like but not for that price but i got this guy for pretty much 140 dollars which is my baseline for a hot toys if i don't like an item or i just kind of like it uh, i don't love it kind of like him uh, I'm willing to spend 150 down, you know, anything downwards of 150. It's kind of like a fair deal, especially for a new item like him. So I, you know, I told myself, you know, why don't get a jump on it. As you can see here, he got the outfit is nice, but it's really boring. It's all black. He's wearing a coat, a raincoat or whatever it might be, a turtleneck. It's just that. And don't get me wrong, I've got figures who's dressed in all black. I'm looking forward to John Wick, who's dressed in all black. But it's the character itself, just, you know, there's really nothing exciting about Nick Fury. Uh, compared to John Wick, who's just, you know, a total badass. But as far as Nick Fury, he's still, you know, kind of like the head leader, you know, the brain of the Avengers. So he kind of need to have him. But as far as, you know, the, the accessories, the outfit look at the head sculpt look at this head sculpt right here it's phenomenal it's like it's a great figure it's just a boring figure but you know like i said for the right price why not but as far as the head sculpt you know so there's two versions now i don't know if there's going to be a third one of nick fury obviously this guy didn't sell well that's why it's on the uh quote unquote clearance bin of big bad toy store but as you can see here the head sculpt is just phenomenal as always from hot toys um those shiny texture of his skin uh the eyes you know like the first version was also good for its time but if you compare the two side by side you know it's like i, I would pick this guy the head sculpt at least any day of the week uh that i believe that has a better sort of accessories obviously from the movie 
but uh you know this guy has a removable eye patch and you can see the scars on his the left side of his eye it's just it's great you know it's, it's sculpted great the eye patch is removable compared to the first version where it's sculpted and um i don't know it's just overall i think it's a better likeness it's a it's a new sculpt it's not like they repainted it so i'm glad they went that route and as you can see here this is the other when you remove the eye patch it you know you can still see the damaged eye you know that's kind of gross but looks you know gross and, and good you know in a weird way that we can actually see this and on the instruction manual it says do not leave the eye patch for too long but you know whatever it's an theory i'm not gonna remove that you know if it stains it stains whatever uh it comes with two eye patches i don't know if you saw that earlier just in case you break you know any eye patch because it's it's kind of flimsy it's made out of fake leather so i guess over time if you play around with it too much it might eventually break but uh, at least they give you a spare one. And as you saw earlier on the coat, there is a uh, a wire underneath, so you can kind of move him around. I kind of like him without the sling dog. So you can you know you can make him more of an agent, like a badass agent, compared with a sling. And uh, you know he used the sling. I, I I get it in in the movie, but you know moving forward, you're gonna remove that. So that's that's the good part. You can see him here. You know f just fired. A gun so he's he's out of bullets so you can see the slide just as in the back he's empty I like guns like this you know, and, and he looks pretty cool you know this there's, there's no restriction whatsoever in his articulation uh, I know he, he looks it looks like he's a uh, his outfit is tight but it's not really uh, he has some paddings underneath so you kind of like he has a belly or something like that but Overall, he looks great, you know, in my opinion, you know, good looking figure, a bit boring, but for $140, you can't really go wrong. As you can see here, there's different textures in his coat as well. So I, I kind of just put the, uh, the coat moving in that direction. So the wind is kind of you know, blowing in that way. This one he's facing the wind. So uh, the coat is kind of like moving back. This is him just holding his gun. And his cell phone so you know he had different hands for different purposes uh, you know I don't know what kind of monitor I hope you're watching this in HD because his paint application is just phenomenal in my opinion look at that look at those veins in the side of his head you can even see little pores if you've seen my uh, my my close-up shot earlier if you haven't just go ahead and go back and, and watch it on his head you know when you shave your head there's like and I, I've done it multiple times where you can see like small little pores those those little hair I'm sure Samuel L Jackson still has like a little bit of hair he just chooses to shave them especially on the side and uh, this is him with a sling so if you want to, you know, if you want, there's an option. This is, this is a good thing about this figure. And this, uh, to put the sling, it's, it's pretty easy. So you can like just hook him, you know, on the front and back. And there's this little tabs that you just connect. It's, it's really simple. And the coat itself. So obviously, if you got the sling on, you can't put the uh, left arm inside the coat. But the, the bottom part, the wrist part of the coat, I believe, has a magnet. Uh, don't quote me on that when which part but it just attaches to the side of the coat so it's not dangling away you know if you have them there or, or flaring out looking like uh like an idiot there so it, it, it is nicely draped on the side so when you display him in your cabinet it it would look good so you can see here so you can i'm pretty sure you can use this sling on other figures as well so if you want to you know I can put them on on my NBA figures and enter Ray looks like they're injured or whatnot but uh yeah I'm pretty sure it's it's one six scale so I don't see any reason and it's not like it's only suitable for him so you can put that on Tony Stark you know I believe Tony Stark was injured in one of the movies so you put him there too speaking of Tony Stark uh you know just height comparison wise this is him with you know the taller mark 46 and Captain America, this is Age of Ultron, so two of his, uh, I guess, best guys on his Avengers lineup. Uh, I've always loved this Mark 46, man. I haven't, I haven't touched this guy in a while. Everything I see, every time I see him, I just, you know, that's why I got rid of my 46, uh, my my Mark 6. He just looks sleek and just, just overall looking sexy right there. And there you go, guys. Um, you know, hopefully, um, 
I shed some light with you here. Is he worth $215? Debatable. You know, if you are a big fan, maybe if you're trying to complete the Avengers, sure. Uh, not for me, but is he worth $140? Absolutely. You know, in my opinion, you know, without a doubt. Uh, you know, if you are thinking twice, don't because uh, Big Bad is notorious for having low stocks. So I bought one. Uh, who knows if somebody watches this video and might buy another and they might be out of stock. So if you are contemplating, if you're in the middle of getting him or not, my suggestion is just, just jump ahead. What's the worst case can happen is you get him, you get bored with him. You know, it's like, oh, this is a boring figure take a $20 loss or $30 loss you know it could be worse you know if you're buying $230 figure or $300 figure at some point unless it's an Iron Man a rare one then you might make money but we if you have been collecting long enough you know what I mean so so thank once again thank you for watching guys uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so uh, click that little bell so every time I upload something you know you, you get notified and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and um, once again, I'll see you in the next review.